Welcome back to the Abu Bakr Yendin channel. We will talk about iron and steel. General information we wish you a pleasant viewing. The importance of the choice of making iron and steel, soft or wrought iron. This is used in making electromagnets used in electrical appliances, as well as in reinforcing bars used in construction. Steel is used in shipbuilding, railways, bridges, building structures, and high towers. Stainless steel 304 It has excellent properties under low temperature and responds well to hardening by cold welding and rust resistance and has good welding properties. Stainless steel 316 The containment of nickel and high molybdenum in this class allows it to show better properties in corrosion and corrosion resistance that Excel alloy provides excellent tensile properties under high temperature and has weldability. Steel was produced using various methods long before the Renaissance, but it was not an effective method. The use of steel became more popular after the development of its methods of production in the 17th century. After the invention of the Bessemer method in the mid-19th century, the process of producing steel in huge quantities became inexpensive. After some modifications to this method, other methods such as a basic oxygen furnace emerged, which reduced the cost of production and improved the quality of the metal. Today, steel is one of the most widely used materials in the world, with an estimated production of 1,300 million tons annually, and is a key component in the construction sector, equipment, ships, cars, machinery, home appliances, and weapons. The steel is newly classified into various ranks according to several international standards such as the SAE Steel Grades Classification, the European Steel Classification, and Steel Grades, and the German Institute for Standardization Classification, DIN Steel Grades, and others. Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon, and sometimes other elements like chromium. Because of its high tensile strength and low cost, it is a major component used in buildings, infrastructure, tools, ships, trains, automobiles, machines, appliances, and weapons. Iron is the base metal of steel. Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon, and sometimes other elements like chromium. Because of its high tensile strength and low cost, it is a major component used in buildings, infrastructure, tools, ships, trains, automobiles, machines, appliances, and weapons. Iron is the base metal of steel. Iron is able to take on two crystalline forms, allotropic forms, body-centered cubic and face-centered cubic, depending on its temperature. In the body-centered cubic arrangement, there is an iron atom in the center and eight atoms at the vertices of each cubic unit cell. In the face-centered cubic, there is one atom at the center of each of the six faces of the cubic unit cell and eight atoms at its vertices. It is the interaction of the allotropes of iron with the alloying elements, primarily carbon, that gives steel and cast iron their range of unique properties. In pure iron, the crystal structure has relatively little resistance to the iron atoms slipping past one another, and so pure iron is quite ductile, or soft, and easily formed. In steel, small amounts of carbon, other elements, and inclusions within the iron act as hardening agents that prevent the movement of dislocations. The carbon in typical steel alloys may contribute up to 2.14% of its weight. Varying the amount of carbon and many other alloying elements, as well as controlling their chemical and physical makeup in the final steel, either as solute elements, or as precipitated phases, slows the movement of those dislocations that make pure iron ductile, and thus controls and enhances its qualities. These qualities include the hardness, quenching behavior, need for annealing, tempering behavior, yield strength, and tensile strength of the resulting steel. The increase in steel strength compared to pure iron is possible only by reducing iron's ductility. Steel was produced in bloomery furnaces for thousands of years, but its large-scale, industrial use began only after more efficient production methods were devised in the 17th century, with the introduction of the blast furnace and production of crucible steel. This was followed by the open hearth furnace and then the Bessemer process in England in the mid-19th century. With the invention of the Bessemer process, a new era of mass-produced steel began. Mild steel replaced wrought iron. Further refinements in the process, such as basic oxygen steel making, BOSS, largely replaced earlier methods by further lowering the cost of production and increasing the quality of the final product. Today, steel is one of the most common man-made materials in the world, with more than 1.6 billion tons produced annually. 
Modern steel is generally identified by various grades defined by assorted standards organizations. Most countries that make steel steel production requires very large energy, as it needs a temperature of 1,500 degrees Celsius, but it is completely safe for the environment, and is not harmful to humans or animals, and manufacturing does not need to take any safety precautions, and the largest countries that produce and manufacture steel are, China, Japan, South Korea, India, Russia, USA, Brazil, Ukraine, Germany, Italy, Taiwan, Turkey, Mexico, Spain, France, Canada, UK, and Iran. The history of steel and its importance won the use of steel and iron dates back to a thousand years BC, and it was famous at that time in Syria. 2. In the 12th century, the heat needed by iron in order to melt by producing certain furnaces in Europe was provided, but the iron they produced at that time was not amenable to roads, because the carbon content in it was large, so it had to be purified from carbon by vernet to lower the ratio. 3. In England in 1740 AD, Benjamin Huntsman smelted iron using the crucible method. 4. In 1811 AD, German Friedrich Kropp established the first iron factory, which was used in the manufacture of railways, steam machines, ships, and others. 5. In the year 1889 AD, when the Eiffel Tower, which was made of iron, was opened, it was the pinnacle of technological progress, and it had great economic and political importance to all countries of the world. 6. Iron became a greedy place in many countries, and it caused countries to occupy each other and establish wars in order to obtain it. In 1935, when Norway and Sweden were attacked, this was to obtain steel, as Sweden manufactured the best and best types of steel. 7. Steel production was shaken after the Second World War, but it returned to its original amount before the war in 1957 AD. 8. The iron and steel industry in the world, and the presence of these large and many factories, cause employment for a very large group of citizens, and thus help them obtain a source of their livelihood. Stainless steel 304 It has excellent properties under low temperature and responds well to hardening by cold welding and rust resistance and has good welding properties. Stainless steel 316 The containment of nickel and high molybdenum in this class allows it to show better properties in corrosion and corrosion resistance than 304, especially chloride environments. In addition, the 316-316L alloy provides excellent tensile properties under high temperature and has weldability. The carbon content in 316L carbon is less than 316 and therefore it is often used in welded components. Panel uses, food processing and handling, heat exchangers, navy, chemical treatments, pharmaceutical equipment, contracting, damask steel, used in the manufacture of daggers, swords, knives, etc., which is flexible and extremely hard, formed by the bonding and consistency of several alloys that are prepared by thermal welding and methods, and after it has been prepared and polished, its identical internal configurations appear. Acid-resistant steel, it is used in iron containers and bottles that contain cleaning materials, and chemicals used in paint and construction, and contains a good percentage of chromium, at least 17%, so that it resists acids and has the ability to resist alkaline solutions. Stainless steel, used in the manufacture of household appliances, beverage cans, razors, etc. The iron content is not less than 50%, in addition to several elements such as carbon, nickel, and chrome. Spiral steel, used in the manufacture of pipes, screws, etc. It contains a high percentage of silicon, which makes it flexible, and increases its elasticity by increasing the proportion of silicon, and sometimes a chromium element may be added to it. Thank you for watching. Abu Baker Jandan Channel